Hey guys, this is Warm Kitty Bread. I hope you're doing well. Today we will be playing Against the Storm, a indie roguelite city builder or colony sim, depending on what preference you like to call this genre. There is meta progression to this, so each successful run that you do, you get permanent in-game currency that you could use to upgrade your stats or have benefits that make you go further than the last time that you did. Let me show you what I mean, because I'm at the Citadel right now, but if we go into the world map, the storm will eventually engulf the area. And then when you do, that's when you start all over again. But I guess the idea is that each time that you go, you keep going further. And I'm assuming you keep going to say these things or these objectives. She will be overseeing my operations as we build our town. So hopefully today in this video, I will show you guys one successful run. Hopefully it's not like a bad run. What we'll do first with any... I guess build city builder or colony sim you want to build some shelter these houses house three residents and we have seven people so we need three houses uh -huh. oh I never actually explained the objective or how you actually win so you're supposed to build reputation points until the gauge is full that's how you win but at the same time there is another gauge that works against you which is the Queen's impatience so if that is filled before your reputation points are filled it's game over which you know i have a feeling that's gonna be me <laughs> okay so these orders uh, if you fulfill them that increases your reputation points and lowers the queen's impatience so let's see what else we can do there are resources trapped in these glades and it's best if you open them up these are the dangerous ones so we will open the, them up later what are these stone deposits? We will need. Ah, oh, what is that called? Stone Cutters Camp. Okay. That's not exactly a priority. I'll put this as the larger priority on the list. I was actually going to show you guys this game yesterday, but it was so hot in my area. Ooh, what's this again? Um. Right now, I think this is like the best time for the villagers or settlers. Mm, I think there's three phases and the storm is the worst. That's where everyone's resolve goes down or morale, if you will. It was 30 degrees in my area or Fahrenheit. I think it's around. Sorry, I'm, I don't really know the conversion very uh, off the top of my head. There'll be around 90 Fahrenheit and you, you could be like, oh, well, that's not very bad or that's not too bad what I mean sorry <laughs> I can't English right now uh, but the thing is it was really high humidity I think it exceeded I think 90% at one point and it didn't cool down at night so it was hot during the day night and day again I think it went on for only two days if it went on for any longer I think I would have been a dead fish for a very long time I kind of just laid in bed <laughs> for the whole day so yeah, I, I didn't do much, unfortunately. Oh crap, the storm is coming. Do we have housing for everyone? Yes, we do. And what's this? So every time you open up a glade, you get an event. This one is just a abandoned catch. You can either break it open, obviously it uses resources, or you can send it to the Citadel for reputation points. I would rather send it to the Citadel, but I do not have the correct resources for it. So we're just gonna break it open. I'm just gonna deactivate this because I don't have enough people right now. All right. All right, and the storm is here. You do get newcomers. I don't know how often it is. It seems to be a timed event. And then you get to choose the type of people that come through with the resources they bring. And I think I would want maybe these ones, the coats. We will accept that. But since we accepted that, there will be people who are homeless. So we're going to have to build another shelter. Time to move the woodcutter's camp and find a different glade to work in. Ooh, we are pretty much surrounded by dangerous glades. Um, so dangerous glades tend to have, or I believe do have, um, feel bigger rewards, but there are, I think, 
debuffs or negative effects if you leave them out for too long, like if you don't action it quick enough. Here is the Dangerous Glade. So there's actually quite a few uh, events here and some of them will have negative events. So let's have a look at this. This one's okay. Ah, oh, here it goes. Threat. Okay, so if we don't solve them soon, this one will gain impatience. And it seems like our goods are worthless to traders. That's fine. We don't have a trading post right now. So this is the one that you want to, I guess, solve ASAP. I can actually do this one now because I do need the planks. So you see how my impatience have gone down and the reputation points have gone up? Will that give me enough? Yes. Okay, cool. We can now bring this down. Okay, cool. We have enough time. Alright. So every time you complete or increase to a certain bar, you get a blueprint from the Queen's Envoy. And I'm kind of scared now because last time we opened it, well, I opened it quite recklessly. I um, didn't have the resources on hand, but we'll have, probably have no choice at this point. Okay, let's deliver that and let's deliver that. So now I have two blueprints to work on. I think we'd, I'd rather the rain mill. What's next? Human house or a clan hall? I'd rather the human house. It's just easy to um, bring up people's resolve by using by uh, building the appropriate shelter for them. Two people, right? Yeah, two resonance, so I need two of them. Oh! This is a dangerous glade? Glade? Yes, it is. Kills five random villagers. Alright, we've got to quickly do this. What do we do? We want to excavate it. So we get the correct reputation oh, points. So wait, is there anything else that is a problem? No. Nice. We can investigate that. Sweet, what is this? Harmony Spirit Altar. One impatient points and harmony has been disturbed. We need to quickly do something about this. Sweet, okay, now we can just deactivate that. And we can calm the spirits with this. I'm scared of it. So let's get that done now. That's not good at all. Oh, because of the crap. I really mistimed that incorrectly. You really shouldn't be working with dangerous things during the storm. But I also don't have a choice because I left it for too long. I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys, but the aesthetic kind of reminds me of um, Warcraft 3, if you guys played that. I never really grew up with it, but I did watch people play it when I was a kid. It's very reminiscent of that sort of uh, aesthetic, or what do you call it? Art style. Okay, they walk into it. Yes! We did it! That was pretty easy, I guess. There wasn't ever a point in time when the where the Queen's impatience was really high up or I was like losing people, but it still kind of grips you and uh, you still get nervous. Holy cow. Whew. We obtained food stockpiles, which is the currency that enables meta progression. So I can go back to the Citadel and I can buy some upgrades, but let us just check out the deeds that I've completed. So that increases your EXP and that allows you to buy more upgrades, obviously. So I've only got a few, as you can see. Hmm, what will I get? Ooh, okay. I think, I think that's a good... <laughs> Sorry, I think you guys just saw me panicking most of the time when really there was no need to panic. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. <laughs> uh, what we'll do is we'll end it here. Thanks for watching and, on, and as always, we're going to get baby Mishka to say goodbye to us because i got to feed her as always. Mishka! Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. I hope you guys take care and we'll see you guys next time and I hope you guys enjoy your upcoming holidays because it's nearing Christmas.
Oh, she's so nice. Come on, I'm so cuddly. Alright, guys. Take care. Bye.